that we uh, just uh, fake it, right? So we have a success stories of 405 professionals into a business analysis, and we have a screenshot of these success stories. Automation 25 plus companies where uh, our pro trained professionals are working. And uh, uh, let's talk about this. And one question you guys can ask that why then you don't publish these data on internet? The reason because we respect to those people. Sometimes they hesitate to showcase their name on internet. That is the reason we don't do it. For ISTTP, if I said uh, it's a little bit old slide. Uh, so 2000, now it is touching to uh, 3000 plus professionals whom we have taught. As you guys have shared that majority of the people are looking for ISTGP certification for a career growth and this kind of a research or this kind of a poll we have done on our several uh, network and uh, more than one uh, 20 plus professionals have participated. The result is around 118 people said that they want to put on their resume on on a LinkedIn. That is the reason they want to do ISTGP certification. Very less who said that they want to learn testing in depth, right? And a few of them have said because of the manager is asking organization pressure, and few said that are uh, just uh, uh, other reasons because of that we want to do ISTPB. Now, when you go in actual and believe me, those professionals whom I have taught 3000, they are the top performer in their organization, not because we teach in a different way, it is just because now a different fire in all of those people. Who have studied ISTQB from refer me group because the approach, the way of doing the testing is absolutely different for those people. Now they are looking testing from a very different perspective. So I will tell you what's the difference we have created, and I will take you to those uh, groups as well, where actually those people are there and how they are doing. I will take you to ISTQB what it is, right? And we will discuss on those points. So basically, this demo we are going to complete or consist consisting of a uh, few things someone else have joined so we will consist about what why who and when and i'm sorry this is a little bit old slide because this is 635 now we have 730 plus professionals who have rated us 4.8 on google so what is istqb if i just go on this slide and if i open this link right it is very simple even you can go and check Right, I just go and check ISTQB. You will find that ISTQB is nothing but it's an international software testing qualification board. They have opened for ISTQB. Just a moment. Yes, this is the official website of ISTQB, which is known as International Software Testing Qualification Board. Around 1.3 million people have given the exam and out of them, 957,000 people who only got a certification. Does this mean this certification is tough? Does this mean this certification uh, is not easy to crack? Absolutely wrong. This is one of the simplest tough exam to clear. I am saying simple, I will let you know why it is tough that I will also let you know. Now this ISTQB is spreaded across 130 plus countries. So here you can't see, but uh, in a slide, if you will go, you will find that all these blue area are, are coming under ISTQB. So whether you are doing in India, whether you are doing in Australia or in uh, uh, Canada or uh, in South Africa or in the uh, USA or Russia, every country has their own board, but all the board are following under one umbrella, which is International Software Testing Qualification Board. So if you are doing certification to India, it is known as ITB. If you do at uh, Canada, it will known as ASTQB. If you go in Russia, it will be different name, China, different names, Australia, different name, Dubai, different name, and uh, South Africa, some different name, or London, some different name, it will come on. But yes, the logo saw, between... I uh, mm -hmm. have one doubt on the exam provider. Mm -hmm. Uh, what about EATSQA, that is Association for Testing and Software Quality Assurance? Is there any difference? Sorry, uh, the come testing, again? The exam provided, EATSQA. That is, ASTQB is nothing but it is American board. See, ASTQB. Not, not a, a, yeah, Association for ASTQB. Testing and Software Quality Assurance. Yeah, I mean, they have given some different name. Uh, American Software Testing Qualification Board, that is ASTQB. In the similar way, if you go to India, right, it will come as an Indian testing board, that is an ITB. But every 
board every institution's falls under one umbrella that is known as your ISTPB. So this is the official website of uh, Indian testing board that falls under ISTPB. But whether you have certified from American board or uh, Canadian board or a Russian board or Indian board, this logo will appear on your certification, which is ISTPB. I mean, you have done from any of the country, you will be known as an ISTPB certified professional. Now, one very good part which I would like to uh, tell you, and that is a very surprising, that all the board that we got to know is falling under one umbrella, but one board which is considered as one of the toughest board across all of them is the Indian testing board because I don't know, is, is it Indian minds or because of uh, the complexity? But yes, the question asked in ITB is not simple. I mean, anyone can go and clear other board, very simple, but uh, for a clearing ITB board, definitely you have to do a study. That is for sure. And that is the reason if, let's suppose, if two people are coming with ISTQB certified uh, professional, we can say, one is from ASTQB, another one is from ITB. People who are aware about ISTQB, they give preference to ITB professional most, right? So that is the uh, thing which I'm telling you. And for India, this is the guy, Vipul Pocher, who is the president of India. So on your certificate, two logo will appear, ISTQB, ITB, and signed, personally signed by, it is not a printed, it is signed by Vipul Pocher, who is a Indian testing board president and very good mentor for me as well. Right, so this was, uh, we were discussing about what is ISTQB that uh, we have seen, right? Now, one uh, more important thing which I would like to share here, like here, this is the Indian Testing Official Board, and if you go and check here, you will find we have affiliation with the Refer Me Group. They have affiliation with the Refer Me Group. What is the advantage of that? That I will let you know in uh, upcoming uh, slide. But yes, we have advantage. And this credentials have given to us once we have given 100% our batch till 40th batch. I mean, till 14th batch, one poor 14th batch was successfully 100% achievement for our candidates. Then they have given this credential to us. I mean, this credit to us. Otherwise, there is no training institution who have affiliation with Indian Testing Board. Only the IT companies who are working have affiliation. Wherever you are working, you can go and check on their official website. Right. Okay. So here we go. Let's talk about uh, the why people do ISTQB. So let's talk about those things. But any question, any doubt till now? Himanshu, Narendra, Ravi, Shantani, Surinder, Swapna, Vaibhav, Varalakshmi, Vivek. Are we good? <coughs> sir, what it stands for, sir, ISTQB. Sorry? What is mean by ISTQB? IST ISTQB. means India. No, no, ISTQB, as I said, International Software Testing Qualification Board and ITB is Indian Testing Board. Okay, so now yep. currently we are uh, doing certification for ISTQB, right? Correct, correct, correct. Okay, okay. Yeah, uh, Shantani? Yes, sir, because I am in Dubai, uh, I need a clarification from the testing board. Uh, planning to take uh, in ASTQB because it is an international... Uh, uh, even huh? even a, ITB is also internationally recognized, and if you go with the ITB certification, I, it, it will be given more. For Indian, because I'm no. in Dubai, so that's the reason. No, you can you can give online. Okay. Right. Uh, I any exam you can give online for any country nowadays. I personally no, feel. Uh, what the thing is? What is the difference, sir, in the testing board? Is on, there any? Oh, only only the uh, the country name that's it apart from that no uh, no difference but yes complexity the people who are aware they know that itb is a little bit uh, challenging a good questions has been asked so if you are going with the itb logo on your uh, certification that will be uh, more recognized and uh, all the examination boards uh, you can give examination uh, to online at any place okay so there so is I think there uh, is no difference mm -hmm. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, no problem. Yeah. So ahead. even I heard that uh, ASTQB is more uh, globally because uh, I think it's more same. Uh, I think also yeah. the no. The same. I'm not okay. sure. Honestly, honestly speaking, no. ASTQB or ITB, which is better? Right. I don't know how. Uh, Pora will answer, but if you will ask from any professional on internet, a lot of. Things 
I right, just uh, checked in chat GPT. Oh, I, I'm not sure how much authentic is chat GPT, but if you will ask from me who has trained uh, 3000 plus professionals, so I will say ITP is more preferable. Right, uh, chat GPT says a lot of things, but uh, I mean, absolutely your call. But yes, if you will ask me personally, then uh, I will recommend go for ITB instead of uh, ASTQ. Right, you will find a lot of proxies. People doesn't give the exam. They just clear it in ASTQ, but in ITB it is uh, not easy. Okay, uh, so let's come to the point. Uh, whether uh, Although we cover from all the board perspective because the syllabus is same, for everywhere, uh, whether you read, uh, you go examine ASTQB, CSTQB, or uh, uh, American board, Chinese board, any board you give, the syllabus is same. So it is your choice which board you want to give the exam. But yes, ITB is, again, I'm recommending, is more preferable. So let's go for uh, why people do ISTQB. One is for the certification, right? So certification, as I have seen uh, most of the time, the people having two to three years of experience or rather four years of experience, they go for ISTQB. After that, they go for ISTQB Agile. You will go here. So you will find ISTQB Agile is there. Then uh, some advanced certification, like there is a technical test analyst, test manager, test analyst. But for doing these advanced certification, if I open this, right? So you will find that uh, the basic requirement for doing these certification is you have to be foundation certified. Right. Uh, if I open this uh, procedure, so they clearly mentioned that uh, what is the entry criteria? Okay, this is Um, yeah, uh, what is the entry criteria? Then must hold foundation certificate from any board. So for going for advanced level, you have to be foundation certified. And other certification that has been introduced in ITB umbrella, that is Selenium for API, artificial intelligence, blockchain performance, DevOps, Cloud, they have introduced a lot of certification here, right? So why people do it? Because uh, any of you who takes interview in your organization, not give, who takes interview? Okay, none of you. So as you guys have told me, nowadays ISTQB is more in demand and not only outside the organization when you are going to change, but within the organization, if you are changing the project, the client is demanding for ISTQB. Does this mean ISTQB certified professionals are more knowledgeable? No, I will not say like that. But yes, at least it gives you an edge. And I consider if one, if out of two people, one is ISTQB certified, so at least the person should know the terminology. Actually, at least the person should know what is the testing process? If I ask a process for a testing, people will surprise. Oh, there is a process. We just uh, find out the requirement. We write the test case, execute, find the defect, fix, and retest the defect, and things like that. No, absolutely not. That is only the 30% of the testing. Testing starts from very basic. That is the for a, from a planning, then uh, monitoring and control. A lot of activities we do monitoring and control. Then after that, the analysis. Then after that, designing. Then implementation, execution, and completion. Total seven steps are there to complete your testing process. If I ask a simple question, do you know what is the difference between error, war, mistake, error, warning, defect, bug, fault, and failure? People will get confused, right? It is not that they do not know, but it is on internet, a lot of information, confusing information is there. If I ask a simple question, do you know what is the difference between test case and test condition and what is the test scenario so sometimes people say that uh, test scenarios are written into automation no we write into manual as well there is a clear difference in all of them if i ask a simple question where we apply smoke testing and where we apply sanity people get confused 
And that is the reason ISTQB becomes important. We have to know all these basic concepts, right? And also introduce you from a various things like how TDD work, how ATDD work, how a BDD work. It is not only in automation we need these terms. In manual testing also we require. Even before of your development, you can write a test cases. Whatever the way of doing the test designing, which means writing a test case, have a different approach. If you are working, not I'm talking about the domain, but if you are working for embedded system, if you are working for a website, if you are dealing with the numbers, if you are dealing with the dates, if you are dealing with the characteristics, they are absolutely different, different approach for writing the test case. That is, we know a test designing. Like there is a black box, white box experience base. Even though if you are, you do not want to apply the black box or white box with the experience base or with doing a lot of polls in your uh, project, you can write multiple test cases. So these things people come and study in ISTQB syllabus, right? And that is the reason it is globally recognized and people know that if you are ISTQB certified, at least you are aware about this. At least you have not done any proxy, to be very frank, right? Then uh, it is a comprehensive syllabus, which is start from very basic. And when I will take you through a, a syllabus, you will get to know that it is start from a basic. That first topic they have mentioned, what is testing? Does this mean I do not know what is testing? Absolutely not. We know what is testing, but how as per exact definition it should be that we will talk about. It is beneficial for the professionals because it is for a career advancement, obviously the knowledge and networking aspect. A lot of forums on uh, LinkedIn, a lot of forums we have that where we include only STQB certified professionals in those groups, right? And definitely benefit from the employers because they showcase that we have a standard professionals who are uh, certified, right? And they can standardization. There is specialized testers we have who have a knowledge who are a certified and the billing rate is high a little bit compared to that is the reason organizations are also demanding for certified professionals right any question any doubt till here any of you himanshu narendra v santani sujit surinder swapna paralakshmi vivek are we good hello <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. Now, let me come to the topics or syllabus, which is a comprehensive syllabus. So, basically, six chapters which has been given in your ISTQB. Right, if I go through with them, so be, uh, for this total six chapters, the first chapter consists of only about testing. Right, the fundamental of a testing. See, the first topic what is testing? I mean, do you think I at two or three years of experience, I know everything about testing. Why they are asking to uh, read me about testing? Do uh, I don't know about testing? They know you know about testing, but you have a lot of misconception, which they have mentioned already, right? They want you to understand testing from the perspective what ac actually it should be, right? And that is the reason they have mentioned, right? What is the test? Then after that, a lot of other uh, topics. Uh, let me just expand it, right? Uh, what is testing? Why it is important? Even like Agile, you guys have heard Agile Manifesto, which is uh, values and principles. In the similar way, testing have their own protocol, their own manifesto, where the testing consisting seven principles in your uh, testing, right? That we will discuss in chapter number one, and then test activities different uh, roles as per the ISTQB, what are the test aware, what are the test working products. And then we will talk about what mindset you should be having, what kind of a skill set and how you can bring a good practices in your testing. That is for a chapter number one, where they are creating the basics of your fundamental things. And then chapter number two, we will talk about the SDLC, how any software developed in its lifespan, where it starts from an idea and then it moves to a users, actual users, how it goes. What is the SDLC? What is the SDLC? What are the different levels? Like there is a uh, component testing, component integration system, system integration, then acceptance testing. 90% software testers says it's a UAT, but UAT is just a part of that. Actually, it is acceptance testing, whereas acceptance testing have a multiple other categories like uh, regularity, 
contractual, legal, alpha, beta, user acceptance, right? Operational acceptance, UAT is just a part of that. So that is the myth which is broken by ISTPB or that is the myth that we clear once we study the document or once we are certified. Then they have kept a separate level, which is a maintenance testing that is not part of your SDLC. Usually we have a myth that maintenance testing is a part of that, but actually it is not. And then in third chapter, we will talk about even though before execution, <coughs> you can find out a lot of defects that are not easy to caught in your dynamic testing. That is your in your execution. And believe me, if you have studied or anyone have done a good study in ISTQB, they find around 60% of the defect even though before execution. And that I have seen previously. What are the steps? Which types are there? How we can do it? What are the checklists we can opt for? That we will see in, in chapter number three. And then chapter number four comes with a lot of test designing technique. Like, what is a black box in this scenario we can apply? What is a white box? What uh, is the significance meaning? How equivalence partition work? How boundary value work? How state transition work? How use case testing has been done? How uh, uh, data flow work, right? What is the path? What is a statement? What, what is a branch? What is a decision making? Everything and in which scenario we can apply these techniques that we will talk in chapter number four. And even though how you can do a polling Right, and you can write a test case, even though that are a uh, uh, that are from the requirement. But still, if uh, like let's suppose if uh, you have appointed in one project and no uh, lot of uh, uh, test bases are there. Test bases are those documents which help you to create your idea and uh, help you to do the test design. Right, like your requirement, user stories, use cases, user manual, system manual, SRS, FRD, these kind of a document, architectural diagram, coding diagram, build uh, uh, report. Right. Even though if you they are not available, even though you can write the good number of test cases, that we will see in experience base and then how we can do a collaborative approach for a testing. Then chapter number six is talking about how you can write effective test planning. What is the risk management? Because the risk and testing are uh, uh, two different uh, names, right? So there is a project risk, product risk that we will talk about who participate, how we can write a a mitigation plan, contingency plan, right? And then the con ongoing activity, which is monitoring and control, which kind of action you need to take. Like, for example, if I ask you one question, there was a one question has been asked in ISTQB. A lot of defect has been found out by the testing team, but the client is still not happy. Which kind of approach we should follow? Is it right or wrong? So in monitoring and control, we will deal with such kind of a question. Even finding a good defect cannot give you assurance that your testing has been done good or you are a good tester, right? So that we will discuss in chapter number five and then configuration management, why it is important, why we do versioning control and how this will be helpful in your testing career. Then defect management, how to raise a defect. Even before raising the defect, you can discuss with the, or you can do a lot of work around, right? Uh, and you can provide those things to your developers so that the developer can help on, uh, or developer can find some help on the defect. And definitely your defect can be considered as a good quality defect. Plus in defect management, we will study about the uh, positive and negative defect. I mean, you guys will surprise what, what is the positive and negative defect, right? If I ask a simple question uh, on this forum, and this is not about you guys only, it is uh, in general, if I ask, okay, go and log a defect, you won't believe that people will mention only 10 to 12 categories in which they will write the defect, right? But uh, when you will study this topic, that is a defect management, you will find that at least 20 to 21 different attributes that you want to develop in your defect management, that you that you will write in your defect management. So that is for chapter number five. And then chapter number six, we will talk about the different tools that we use on day-to-day -day basis. Even as a manual tester, you use minimum to minimum 13 to 14 tools that you are not aware, but how effectively we can use those tools that we will talk about. And how even at the organization level, doesn't matter whether you have a two years of experience or 15 years of experience, but how you can propose a tool in your organization and become a star of your team that we will discuss in chapter number six. Any question, any doubt here up to now? So let me ask a question if you are not asking. Don't you guys think this syllabus is a complete package of a testing in itself? 
Yes or no? Hello. Sir, oh, what was your yeah. question? My question is, don't you think this syllabus is a complete package of a knowing the testing? Sounds like a complete package. Yep. Yes. Okay. And till now, any question, any doubt on this syllabus? No. Okay. If, okay. Thank you. Okay, if not, let me uh, before uh, jumping on to the next topic, let me, as I have promised, I will take you to my current batches. So right now we are executing this 55th batch. Right here, you can see that uh, how we execute. Like uh, if you go on this, right, we after every chapter, we go and solve the papers like this, right? Uh, this was, uh, I mean, these people have participated, although we have not completed. Right, this is the way how people go. Correct, and uh, every day we do a meeting. After every chapter we finish, we share the mock test paper related to that chapter. This is the way how we teach on teams. Right, and uh, in 55th batch, a very good response where people have joined from uh, different different sources, different different locations. Sorry, right. Plus, we also share the recording of each batch, and it is the lifetime access you have been given. Uh, once the class has been finished, I just record it. Right, and I share the recording with the people. Apart from that, around if I go, right, approximately 27, 28 mock test paper, which I share with them as per the latest syllabus, right, which is 4.0. Plus, these are the notes which I share with the group. The last minute note also, you, you have an exam and you cannot recall all the concept in one go. So we have ISTPB capsule, which we share in 30 minutes. You can recall all the concept. If I take you for this 55th batch, right, which is currently going on. So let me show you how we uh, teach also, which kind of a material is there. Since this batch has been completed, so it is easy to get some knowledge here, All right? See, this is chapter number one. We have uh, chapter number one. We have discussed two, right? As I have told you, multiple uh, levels, as I have told you, the difference in all of them. Test case, chapter number three, four, right? We just go not only to understand, but how to write a good test case that we also did. In five, we talked about the estimation plan, and believe me, this estimation plan has been recognized very much by the people who have done uh, courses with us. It is not part of ISTQ, but I teach you whatever knowledge I have gained till in my experience. Right. So this is the way how we proceed. Plus, uh, uh, I share uh, other materials as well if it is required. Ultimately, I can say one thing that it and see DevOps. I mean, obviously not part of ISTQ, but I teach you because you should aware about this concept, right? You should know it is not only the manual testing, but it is only to understand the concept thoroughly or understanding the testing from each point point of view. So see here, incremental and iterative model that I have shared. So a lot of things that we share, and believe me, you need not to go refer somewhere else apart from this whatever we have shared. If you are honest with the class, honest with the mock test paper, which uh, we will share with you, that is more than sufficient, right? To grab all the information and clear the certification. Okay, now coming to the examination, basically there are 40 questions, single choice, uh, multiple options, but single option is correct, no negative marking. And to clear the exam, you have to score 26 correct marks, which is 65%. Duration of examination is 75 minutes. It is online at any place you can give the examination. There is no restriction. You do not to go at any center, right? You can register and you can go and give examination at your center. So one thing I have promised that I will take you to my uh, previous group. Also, if you want to check our feedback, you can simply just type refer me group, right? You just go and check our feedback, what it is. Correct. Just click on uh, newest and you can find. And 
frankly speaking, this is not taking. I don't know who is this guy who has done this syllabus with us, but uh, I don't care seriously because sometimes people play a gimmicks or uh, some kind of a tricky things whenever you grow. And all these feedback has been taken by the actual user. It is not that we have uh, taken any agency for the feedback. So you can go and check, right? Uh, these kind of a feedback people have given. Uh, what else I need to cover here? Yep. Uh, the why referring group, right? So uh, affiliation is right. So uh, the affiliation that I have told you, the benefit of doing the affiliation is that you guys get some discount in your examination fees, somewhere 700 or 800 rupees of a discount you guys get if you give examination through refer me group. So we have given some code and uh, people give examination and get the discount in that, right? That is the benefit of uh, uh, we have affiliation. So as I said, uh, around 20 plus years, 19 plus or 20 plus years of experience, right? And uh, now it has changed. It is around uh, 3,000, I can say, closing uh, to 3,000. Complete coverage, 1500 plus set of question banks, plus the practical sessions that we do, which I have shown you study material, lifetime recording, WhatsApp group that I have shown you. This is our current batch, right? And then uh, uh, this is all about today's demo. But yes, any question till now, any of you? Himanshu, Narendran, Ravi, Shantani, uh, Sujit. Surinder, Swapna, Vabo, Vara, Lakshmi, Vivek. Sir, what was the course fees and how yes. many classes it takes, sir? Yep, that's a good point. Uh, so let me come to here. All right. The duration is two months. Is there any weekday batches? I'm talking about that. Duration is two months. It is a weekend class. No weekdays class because uh, I am working also, right? So I can't take weekdays classes. But yes, I tell you one thing, whether you do weekdays classes or weekend classes, because weekdays or we have also done the same time it takes. Benefit of doing the weekend classes, you get a time on weekdays and you uh, just do a revision. But if it is a weekdays class, it is very hectic, believe me. I'm not saying that you need to join weekend classes, but weekdays if we keep, then people get engaged in their office, then they are studying and then they don't get time on the revision, right? Weekend people usually want to keep it free. So, I mean, that kind of a thought process comes. So it will be weekend classes, Saturday and Sunday, right? Or for two hours every day. And uh, it will take two to 2.5 months. I mean, if people are want to stretch on any topic they want to revise, we will do it. That is the time. The present 55th batch timing is 9 to 11 a.m., right? And uh, I will keep this 56th batch. As per the majority. Right, whether it will be 7 to 9 or uh, 7 to 9 a.m. IST or it will go in the evening somewhere 8 to 10 p.m. or it will be 12 to 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. in the noon time. All right, so these three times I have proposed, we will go with the majority. Correct, and if it is required, we will merge once both the batch. I mean, since we have done uh, three chapters in uh, 55th back. So I will, uh, once we will cover or we will reach there, we, uh, both of you, we will do a combined study as well. Might be possible. I'm not uh, promising anything, but it might be possible. So this is the batch timing, which I have told you. Now, any question, any doubt till now? Yeah, so the fees for uh, each board differ, right? The fees for HTQB and... Ex yes, yes. Examination fees are differs. Every yeah, board has their own fees. Uh, for other boards, seriously, I don't know. I mean, you can go and check by yourself uh, what uh, fees they are charging. But uh, for Indian testing board, it is the lowest that I can tell you. Like if I open for... Uh, right.
And the syllabus is also exactly the same for each board, right? Syllabus is same. Yes, syllabus is same. Right. Uh... Yeah, for exam fee, we need to email them. Sorry? Uh, for exam fee, we need to email them. No, you no no. You you just simply go and uh, transfer the fees online. They will uh, uh, give you examination date. Right, I am purchasing for myself. So I mean, uh, you guys can go and check by yourself. It is somewhere uh, for uh, ISTQB. Yeah, foundation is two twenty nine dollar for ASTQB. In India price, if you will go simply, if you calculate with the 85 rupees, right? So it will come somewhere. 229 into 85, somewhere 19,000 rupees. For ITB, if I say it is somewhere 7,000 rupees. So from examination perspective, Indian testing board is cheaper, right? And also considers as globally, I can say. Right. But still, if you have a choice, you want to go with the ASTP, you can. That is absolutely your process. In terms of syllabus, both have a similar syllabus, right? There is no difference, and uh, we cover from both perspectives. Right. Any more question related to this? See, if I open here the material. See, this is 4.0, which I have opened on my PDF as well. That's 4.0. That is the same on their website. So it consists same syllabus which we are covering. Right. I hope your uh, question is answered here. Yes. Okay. From next when week? the batch is going to start? Uh, from next week. That is from uh, 8th of, uh, 7th of September, we are going to start this batch. Okay, now coming to uh, examination part, uh, the fees part, right? Uh, as I said, uh, the training fees, and that has been published uh, because I know uh, we are not like a traditional institution where we hide the price, even our previous batch also, if you will see, Snehal has posted this, the same piece we have charged in the previous batches also and uh, in the same batch as well, right? This uh, 999 is a piece which we are charging for, and this is only training piece. There is no examination piece has been included. Examination piece you will give to the respective board, not to us, right? Uh, yes, but we have, as we have promised, there is a discount of 1000 rupees, but for a first five people who will transfer, not complete fees, even if someone is transferring 1000 rupees, 2000 rupees, that is perfectly fine. But yes, first five people will be given 1000 rupees discount. So for them, it will be 8999. And you can pay your fees in the two installments as well uh, within 15 days or in a month also, that is fine. You can pay the fees. Now, <laughs> sorry, any question? Sir, uh, give mm -hmm. yeah, give me the class timing, sir. You you told me that uh, it will start from September seventh. When it will get ended? Uh, if we will start from seventh September, right? So, uh, you can consider that it will take around two months to complete. So, September, October, September to October, October to November, somewhere on seventh November, November it will finish. Okay, so, so we can so we can give exam only after that, November seventh. Yes, yes. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. The reason because if I cover on a very fast basis, right? My idea is not that you are ISTPB certified. My idea is that you should understand the concept because in uh, you will get a call if you are ISTPB certified. That is sure. If they are looking for ISTPB certified professional, but what if someone is not going to clear the interview? Then it's not good that they may ask the question how you have cleared the exam. 
So the idea is that you should understand the concept. And any kind of a feedback, I give an open uh, invitation to any of you. You can come and join our 55th batch and ask what kind of a feedback we have, because that is a current running batch. Any more question, if any of you is having? Timing, sir. What was your timing, sir? Okay. So timing, as I said, uh, if you guys are comfortable, we will keep it in the morning, 7 to 9. Or we will keep it uh, 12 to 2 uh, in the noon time in India. Or in the evening, we will keep it 8 to 10, whatever is there. Mostly, I don't prefer this one because IT people don't wake up at uh, in the morning. So either we will keep it 12 to 2 in the noon time or 8 to 10 p.m. Um, evening will be better, sir. Okay, so we can go for evening uh, classes, right? Let's remove this. Right, we will keep this class at this time. Uh, Any so, more questions? Yeah, so after uh, giving an exam, and let's say if we are clearing it, uh, after how many days we get a, this is a certification? Uh, usually, usually it takes a two week. They will send a mail to us, and then if I show you, like uh, they will send a mail to us, and then on the same day we pass it to you. Okay, and we can also ask them to publish our name on the website, right? They are. They What's will that? publish. They will publish. So oh, it's a uh, sonal, all right. See this uh, result name, and if you will go and check on, uh, I think I have shown you as well. All right, here you can see on their official website. Uh, see sonal, who is uh, spoke in ISTQB. She has mailed to us. F sonal, correct. So we get a certificate uh, directly from her and we pass it to our uh, candidates. Any more questions, any of you? So we need to register ourselves only or we need to that Sorry, come uh, again. Uh, means for example, we need to register from ourselves or yeah. Uh, Correct. The exam exam fee you have to give to uh, ISTPB. Uh, 